Hi traders, short recap of my trading session today. I'm about to short Riot. The reason for that, Riot starts today with a big gap down of more than 7%. Normally, when you have a gap of more than 3%, you expect a gap and go. Meaning, instead of moving into the direction of closing the gap, you expect it to continue in the direction of the gap, meaning come down. So I'm about to short 4,000 shares and take a look at this very nice technical formation that I've got right over here, shorting right now 4,000 shares. What I want you to notice is not just the direction of Riot, also the direction of the S&P 500, which you can see here in five minute candles. Now, Riot on the top just came down under the lows. These are one minute candles. And as long as the S&P 500 will continue to come down, Riot is likely to continue in the direction of the S&P 500. The reason for that is quite simple. The S&P represents what the institutional traders are doing. And the institutionals are 80% of the volume in Riot. That's why they are likely to continue pushing it lower. Now, it just came to the point of uh, reversal. I'm taking now my partial just cover 3,600 shares. And at that point, I I've got only 400 shares riding. As you can see, it continues to come down. In fact, uh, the S&P just moved under the lows. I thought the S&P is about to pull back up. It did not. Now it continues coming down. But what I want you to notice is the point where the S&P stops moving lower, which is about now. Now take a look at the way the S&P leaves this bottoming tail, starts moving higher. Again, five minute candle. Look at what happens in a delay in Riot. Riot is also always going to be delayed after the S&P 500. First, the S&P shows us what the institutional traders are doing. Now the institutions are starting to buy because we have a green candle. That's the rule. They do start to buy. Watch the S&P moving higher. That's the first forward of what happened to Riot. And as you can see, Riot is following the S&P. Now, the first move is always the S&P. Institutional traders are the ones who are pushing the stocks. It's not us traders. We are a very small part of the 20% that are left. Most of the volume comes from the institutional traders. Now, at that point, you can see that the S&P just bounced a little bit down and Riot the same way. Now, Riot leaves us a very clear stop at the $26 mark. Now, I'm still riding 400 shares short and I'm hoping it's going to continue coming down. But at that point, I have a very clear stop for the last 400 shares. You always wait for the bigger move with the last quantity. So I let it moving, move up a little bit. Again, with the S&P moving higher, if the S&P will continue to move higher, then Riot will be stopped. If the S&P will start moving lower, which is not very likely after what the S&P just did, then of course, Riot will come down with the market. It will follow the S&P 500. Always remember, watch the S&P 500. Now, here are my results. As you can see, uh, Riot is just one of my green trades today. I made over seven grand today in less than one hour. But please do remember, trading is hard and my results are not typical. Most traders lose money. You should probably trade in a demo account before you move into real money and never lose more money than you can afford to lose. Because again, trading is extremely hard. There's plenty of links here below. One of them is to the TradeNet demo account, the interactive practice account, which you can trade with rules, which is extremely important. And, uh, you know, as, as long as you lose money, because you're likely to lose money at the beginning of a trading career, just please do it with a demo account. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give us a like. Also, you can subscribe to this channel right over here and you can hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And again, plenty of links right here below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.